you might notice that uh, there's a couple of Chinese companies listed uh, in recent weeks, both in Nasdaq and NYSE, right. and the Wall Street Journal's other financial institutes in Wall Street is comments this phenomenon that a flood of Chinese companies, yes, just a surge, this, the, the biggest, kind of the biggest, driving the biggest of the worldwide surge of the IPOs in a decade. So yeah. what's your perspective on this popular trend? Uh, it's amazing. I, I'm, I'm very encouraged by it. I'm very optimistic uh, going forward in the long run. Uh, I, I th oftentimes, though, from a contrarian perspective, when you see IPOs spike like this, sometimes it can mark a peak in, in activity. Um, but, but for the near term, it's, it's certainly a good sign. I don't think you can differentiate between American IPOs and Chinese IPO. I, I really am optimistic. I like seeing new stocks you know, brought to market and become public. And I think, in general, it's good for the marketplace. So. Uh, I think it's a great sign. Some analysis would like to say it's a bubble for sure. So yeah. what do we think? Uh, Riding on a bubble is one of the best way to make profit. It's it's bubbles are always difficult to predict until they've popped. I, I think if anything, from my perspective, seeing the runaway success of Bitcoin when investors have little to no knowledge of, of how it works outside of they're buying it because they expect to sell it at higher prices, and the fact that we could have futures potentially on the Fang stocks. Uh, we're starting to see indications of, of excess when you look at those things that make me a little concerned. Uh, the IPO market, I wouldn't say yet, is at levels that would uh, are, indic are indicative of real froth and a bubble. So, what do you think about Bitcoin phenomenon? I think the, the introduction of futures uh, could l make it a little bit more legitimate. So, that's actually a positive for, for Bitcoin. I think that right now we're at a stage where it's fashionable to knock Bitcoin and saying that it's a fraud. Until these people truly embrace it, then there's just a lot of naysayers and it can continue to go up, really for reasons that people don't understand why. And a lot of that's just a trading phenomenon. There's more buyers and sellers and people like to buy dips. Um, until everybody fully embraces the concept of Bitcoin, I still think it can go much higher. And Are you so, trading on Bitcoin? I do not own any Bitcoin. <laughs> I'm not a miner of Bitcoin. I wish I would have been on that. And, and Same here. It might be something I would consider if it falls, but I, I have no vested interest. I prefer uh, stocks and commodities and ETFs, so that's my that's forte. That's a solid like, ground for <laughs> us, yeah. I don't like seeing 15% moves overnight. That makes me a little nervous.